Hi, it's Lynette here. So today I am filming my first ever shop my stash. So um, I was kind of said, I don't think I've got enough makeup to make this interested. I'm trying to think of like my favourite YouTubers who do this. Um, one of them is Marcia and she's got drawers of things and she opens them and she can go through and, and I'm kind of like, mine looks really boring in comparison. However, um, Two of my good friends, Lynn and Tracy, have recently sent me loads of makeup. Um, so I kind of felt like I, I had more than just eyeshadows to show you. So I thought I'd do my first ever shop moustache. So Tracy had this idea, which is brilliant. Um, and I'll probably do it for the next one, or maybe do it when Tracy's here, is um, to do a shop moustache, but let Poppy pick the products. <laughs> So I'll do that through the week because so Steve's in the living room and Poppy's on the table as per usual. So I thought I could maybe do it when I can kind of clear the table and let her go to the items to pick them for me. So I thought that might be quite a funny one to do and see how many products. I won't give her anything that she could potentially throw and break. So I have tried to kind of put the bulk of my products in here. So there's lips, there's eyes and there's kind of like highlighters and blushers here so I won't kind of tend to be picking a new mascara um, every time I do this because I do like to kind of use them up however I'm at that position where mascara has started to run out so I can do that today and my eyeliner so first I'm going to do um, my lips so I think this should be relatively easy because if you've been watching my videos you'll see that I have got a kind of lipstick use up um, project pan on the go so I thought it'd be really boring to do an update on that when I've only used one lipstick and one lip liner however I thought if I incorporate incorporate into it into my shop moustache until I've used up a few different things or kind of finished a few different things that might be a bit better way to do it and it's in this gorgeous bag which I just love um, that came was it a Tarte makeup set you got this um, makeup bag which I think is so cute so I'm just going to go through it and I'll go through the colours um, I decided to take one of the colours out and just keep it in my handbag so I've always got it there so I'll continue to use that keep it in my handbag if I'm out at work whatever so I can top up my lipstick but the colours that I think I said I wanted to use up if my head were correct so I wanted to use this gorgeous gloss and I wanted to use up this little Charlotte Tilbury just because it's so little um, so I think I'll definitely be adding this gloss and this little um, Charlotte Tilbury into the collection. I will also pop in the Mellow, so this is a lip pencil, I think it's supposed to do your, all your lips but I'll just use it as a lip liner and this one here and just for good measure I will add in, will I add in a lipstick, another lipstick or a lip gloss? That's lovely. Um, the Steve Laurent. Um, Ted Baker. Mm. I'm going to add in the Ted Baker. So this, there are three um, kind of lippy products and two lip liners from my shop moustache so those are going to go into the makeup bag that I'm going to use for the shop moustache so I can come back and talk about it as well so I know that everything in here is part of that project um, I've also got now this is a bit that I'm going to try and angle be down for and just ignore the fact that this seems to be covered in lipstick for some reason who knew <laughs> who knew I could be a messy pup right okay Let's keep it at this angle here. So these are my um, lipsticks. I think I've still got a few more to add in. So there's um, there's a selection of um, lipsticks, lip glosses, um, my incredible jelly shots. I was obsessed with those. I did love them. Um, I might actually add one of those in. I don't know. We'll see how I get on with the lip gloss. So that's just to show you that what, what I'll probably do from kind of next month is take in a couple of colours from the lipsticks here and just go over them. Um, there's a gorgeous little lip balm as well from Estee Lauder. So yeah, I'll do that probably next month. So there's a MAC lipstick here, which is quite dark, right? 
However, if I add, where is it? If I add this Oiza, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. If I add that on top, it'll make it lighter. And then I put a little gloss on top of that. So that's what I do if anything's too dark. Um, this is probably one of my go-to um, every day. It used to be my handbag, but I took it out. My Bare Minerals um, Bare Pro, and it's in the colour petal, so you can see it's nearly finished. I got it from John Lewis. It was about £18, because I think they had money, money off it. They were price matching. But um, it did last for ages, and it's really nice, so I, I don't mind. I'd get myself something like that again as a retreat. However, there's still enough in there and I've still enough lipsticks to kind of try and work through. For some reason, I've popped a mascara up here. <laughs> so I'll go to the next drawer. Which is just been a the supermarket there, so excuse me, I've not put my toothpaste away. So this next drawer here is the mascaras. Right. The mascara drawer um, that I've got here. I popped this face palette in it because it didn't fit in the bottom drawer. So you can see there's a different, there's a variety and Tracy sent me one of these lights, camera, lashes. It is my favourite mascara. Um, and I also have this one, which I forgot all about having. Um, but it'll get used up, I love it. Um, so what am I going to try? So first of all, this has been in here for a little while. It's a Technic. Um, mega lash and it's water resistant so I can use that the only problem I find with water resistant mascaras is that they they tend to always end up like smudging all over the top of my eyelid doesn't happen with regular mascara it just happens with waterproof don't know what I'm doing wrong but I will try that one I also want to try this Max Factor false lash effect um, blue primer so when you see when you see the friend mail from Lynn, you'll see that in there. I do love a lash primer, so I'll try that, and I will pick another um, eyeshadow. Eyeshadow? I don't even know what language I'm speaking here. Um, mascara, <laughs> brain fog. So I'll try the beauty crop. So Lynn sent me the beauty crop, and Tracy sent me the beauty crop as well. But um, I don't mind. Look at the packaging, cute little flamingos on it. So I will pick that one. I'm also going to pick a coal and an eyeliner. Um, a felt tip eyeliner, the number seven. So that's in brown. Quite fancy brown. And I will pick a little coal. Oh, and this came from a set that Tracy gave me. The Diageo Dalla Palma, number one. So I'll pick the coal. There you go, that is really cute. Next, I will pick from the bottom drawer. Then I'll show you, I'll, I'll show you everything that I've picked. I'm not gonna add like foundations and concealers and stuff because I tend to only buy that um, when I need it. So I don't have a stash of those. So this drawer is looking much, much healthier. Um, so you can see there's the, I've been forgetting about bronzer because there wasn't one in my bag. This is the Give Them Lala Beauty um, Ibiza Bronzer. Um, it's got a, it, it, oh, it's kind of sparkly as well. It's gorgeous. It's got a mirror as well. I'll pop that in. Um, the Cover FX Sunkist. I'm looking for one that's not sparkly. Wow, this is gorgeous. Um, so that's a completely different shade, but I'm quite fair anyway, so I think that'll look really good. Um, what will I get now? Is this a bronzer? Oh, this is a blush duo by the Beauty Crop. I've got that from Lynn as well. Um, look at that. Two different shades of bronzer, but what I will... Blusher, sorry. What I'll probably do is just mix the brush in both of them and swirl the colours together. They're lovely. And I'll pick out one that is completely different. The Lottie um, Ombre Blusher. So that's nice and bright. I'm not sure how that goes on. Um, I will need to pick a little highlighter as well, won't I? Okay, so I am going to try this Laura Geller. Um, it's, that's a blush, so I'm not trying that. 
um, the little Laura Geller um, baked highlighter in Sunlight Glow. It's got a wee half mirror there, so that one. And just to do something a little bit different, we'll do something a little bit different. I'm trying to think, if we're gonna go for a purple one, but I'll go for this one, the Revolution Pro Highlighter Luster. So, next step, next step is to pick out some eyeshadow so I can lift you up so you can see me here. So, what I've managed to do, believe it or not, is actually get all my eyeshadows, or most of them, because there's probably some straight, um, and pop them all on this basket. When you consider the size of the box before I did all my giveaways, um, it was huge. So I definitely want to pop in this NYX Lid Lingerie um, eyeshadow palette. Got that in friend mail from Lynn. It is stunning. It's all the colours that I use every day. Great size as well if you were going anywhere. Um, what else am I going to pop in here? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Now, this revolution, Forever Flawless, I fancy, right, trying this one. So Tracy sent me this ages ago, actually before we really kind of were chatting all the time. Um, I chat to Tracy like 10 times a day. So, Buster, can I get a hold of it? <laughs> so always remember me, Buster. I could never part with this one. It's a dupe to the Jeffree Star one, and I was telling her, like I think I wanted to own it at one point, and she said, you know, this dupe is amazing because she had the real, the real thing. Um, but I actually think that I could make this because this blues scare me. I've only ever used them for a look, but I think I could use this and work with this and try and do an everyday look. There's a challenge. So one, two. Oh, I've got my little Douglas pink nudes. Um, <laughs> it always happens, doesn't it? Um, that I got sent from my lovely friend in the Netherlands, um, Monique. She's got a fab wee channel as well, Dutch Monique. She's so kind. Um, and do you know what though? Because I've been saying, well, I've got this from this one, this from that one. If I forget somebody sent me something, I'm going to feel terrible, aren't I? Ah, right. So I got this from Sally. It's a Huda Red. So what I was saying was, I have never, ever used colours like this in my life. However, what I was saying is that I wanted to go on and try and copy some tutorials. Because mine's just end up, I think my friend Joe said, kind of grungy. In a nice way. Um, and I think that's how they end up looking a bit muddy, I think, sometimes. Um, and a bit dark and a bit not me. Um, so I'm going to try and see if I can find it. If you know of any good Huda Beauty tutorials, um, let me know. This is Ruby Obsessions, but I'm dying to try it. So I'm going to show you what I've used. So this is plenty for four weeks, I think, but I don't want to kind of get bored. So that's why I thought I'd put more in than less. So I've got at least two of everything. Yeah, two highlighters, two bronzers, two blushers, four palettes. Um, yeah, that's fine. So these are the four eyeshadows. The Huda, the NYX, the Douglas, the Revolution, um, Forever Flawless Base. The two mascaras are the Technic Mega Lash, which is mega kind of reasonable as well. So I can do a video on that and tell you what my thoughts are. The Beauty Crop Fabulous Locking Lashes. Um, the Max Factor False Lash Effect Blue Primer. Um, the Eyeliners, the Black Coal. And the number seven, Stay Precise. <laughs> oh, I'm going all over the place, the lips. So there's what, five different products for the lips, but they're all part of my lipstick panning project. The two bronzers, the two blushers, and the two highlighters. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll come back next month. If I remember and take photos, I won't do looks, but if I remember and take photos, I'll do a look with the Huda one. Um, and if I can get an everyday look with the Revolution one, I'll do that. But um, I'll try and take some photos of the different looks that I've created um, just for everyday. 
in the house, at work, whatever, um, then I'll let you see them. So I'm going to go now. I'm going to get my washing in. Yeah, because it's nice and sunny today, hence my sunglasses. We sat outside for a bit and then the sun went behind the clouds and it was absolutely freezing. So um, I'm going to go get my washing in before the sun disappears completely. And um, I hope you enjoy this. If you like this, let me know and I'm quite happy to do them regularly. Just pulling everything together and having a good dig around my makeup. What a good excuse. And I would do this w without the camera being on. Um, but I don't do it at the moment. I'm terrible. I'll take things out, put them in my makeup bag and I'll use them until they're finished. And it means that there's all this makeup not even getting tried. Um, so I just want to try and use everything that I've got um, and really enjoy it. So anyway, I better go. I'll speak to you soon. Take care guys. Bye bye.